So today we're gonna be using Groudon Sandy Shock's Choice Scarf Flutter Main, Eject Button NDD, Safety Goggles Articuno, and a little bit of Gem Bluff. Actually, this team has a bunch of cool tech, right? So we have the ability to go for gravity with Sandy Shock, which makes it so our Hypnosis uh, have a higher accuracy rather than Kuno. Uh, we also become grounded, so like we can use Expanding Force from our own entity. We have Ground Terra on there to make it so we can block like Maridons go for big like Ground Terra Earth Powers. Uh, we have Jump Pluff, really, really solid mom with Tailwind, Rage Powder, stuff like that. Great with uh, Sandy Shocks or Gravity. Uh, Groudon also gets better with Gravity, able to always hit your Precipice Blades, but also hit things that are like flying. So it's actually like a really, really cool team. I also think like Choice Scarf Flutter Main in the sun is like really degenerate so like you can leave versus like Tornersh, and they're like yo i'm just gonna put up a tailwind and it's like i'm still faster than you bro <laughs> like i got i got plus two speeds out here so this team should be a lot of fun to play i don't know how many games we'll win but uh let's go play some games see what happens does modest scarf not seem better well you just don't want to lose a speed tie right so like modest scarf would lose to like booster speed timid uh flutter i want to always be faster Right? Yeah. I don't even want to bring ink and paper into it. Okay, cool. So we see Rillaboom. So that's one of the reasons why we have Entity on this team still is because Rillaboom. Let me think about what we want to do here. <sighs> I don't think we lead Entity yet, but I do think we can pivot it in. What if, like, oh, dude, what if I just, like, lead Articuno? And I pivot in this Entity and go ground terror and just go, like, <laughs> Oh, man, that'd be funny. Let's see. I actually think Umbreon's a really, really good mod in this format. Uh, let's see, though. I wouldn't be surprised if that was Goggles on the Umbreon. Do we want Sandy Shocks? Do we need Sandy Shocks for, like, anything in this matchup? It's only kind of okay. It is faster than Gouging, so, like, that is something to, to note. Like, we could just lead Sandy Shocks Articuno. What do you do if I lead like that? Like, what do you actually do if I lead like that? Do we just get folded by, like, Groudon? Like, maybe? No, I don't like that. I like Sandy Shocks, though. Sandy Shocks can definitely come. I'm going to bring the Flutter in the back. Sandy Shocks. You know, we're going to go Sandy Shocks Groudon for for game for turn one. And then I'm going to bring these two. I'm just going to try this. If it works, working awesome. Let's go. Let's roll it. Let's roll it. So I think having the Flutter in the back might be like the key to win in this matchup, but we'll see if they want to even go TR. That's why I'm actually still leading like somewhat respectable of Frigraph. Groudon and Umbreon. Okay. I think I'm going to SD. Do we even want a Gravity? We, if we eat that foul play, dude, we are big dead. <laughs> Let me think about this. Gravity's kind of nice. I don't need to gravity right now. I don't want to eat an SD. I'm going to play passive for one turn. Just a nice little chip damage. Like, I want to see a little bit more about their set. You can absolutely... Like, that's great. That's great damage. People would be back. Absolutely fine. You can miss that move, too. You don't know if I'm sashed. Like, I, I'm respecting your Umbreon's ability to yawn cycle me, too. Like, I'm... Res this is a big respect to your Umbreon. Wow, you're weak, dude. There's the yawn. See that yawn block? See that gaming out here? Oh, my gosh. You are big gaming. Cool. And so now, like, your Groudon is, like, low-key threatened. You are low-key threatened by my presence, sir. I think I could pivot my Groudon out, but I want to save the Indity. Try this. Good play from them. I'm just sticking damage to Umbreon. So right now I'm trying to solve for X, so Flutter can just come in and go with both. And then we're going to pivot next turn. Pivot in the Indity, get my terrain up. Groudon! Good damage. Cool. That's totally fine. 
All right, so I wonder what Terra Groudon's going to go, right? That's the that's the real question. It's like, what Terra are you going to do? Are you going to do Steel Terra, Fire Terra, Grass Terra? Grass Terra would be pretty obnoxious. I could double into it to protect on cooldown. I think I will do that. I don't want to it's just Swords Dance here. No, nope, this is fine. This should be enough to take the Groudon out. So you have Foul Play, you have Yawn, but I'm going to be able to pin a slot here, and then I'll just pivot back out. So, oh, they're pivoting out Umbreon. Double pivot? Not bad, not bad. Yo, five subs, yo, appreciate it. Yo, thank you. Real Boom, really, really good, Mon. Real Boom does not cut the damage from uh, Precipice Blades, and we have Indy in the back, but thank you. Five subs, hey, I, I appreciate you, bro. Like, I'm trying my best to still make it work, dude. I'm trying my best out here. So thank you. Thank you for the support consistently. Uh, really, really appreciate it. We're going for big damage here. I think that Groudon has to go for a double protect. Um, we don't know who's Groudon's faster either, but I think I'm faster. So I hope that I'm faster, right? That's the thing we're really hoping for. This does not KO, but like, we'll see. Yeah, I really need to be faster, otherwise it's just game. Cool. I think that I am. My Groudon's EV trained to be kind of like that. But thank you. Thank you for the support. Really, really appreciate it. Wouldn't be able to do it without you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be here without the feedback, without the support. We're doing, we're doing the best that we can out here. I get, I get a bonus next month. Definitely going to get myself to 200 gifted subs. Oh my gosh. Yo, holy moly. Big value. All right, so you see the Protosynthesis boost into speed. And so right now, I'm still scarfed. Like, so like right now, I'm still like... You, you big sad. I could actually just stay in here. I could actually just pivot in Indity and just save my, my Flutter to repin. I think that's probably a good play. I'm okay with that. Pivot in here. Take away terrain. I think you just heat crash the Flutter and just get it off the board. Just guarantee pop it like it's hot. I'm totally okay with that. So just let them have all of the grout on here. Pivot in, rebring everything back out. No, no, I'm scarfed and I have protosynthesis. Like I'm big fast. And so they're gonna go probably fairy terror here. They don't pop our grout on as much as they want. Fairy terror back. Cool. So that means they really can't terrestrialize fire or anything later on in the game, so we should be okay. D-Gleam, yeah, see, like, that, that ain't it. Let's see who they're going after with the Rilla, though. Like, if they go after, if they pop my Flutter on this. Oh, they just quit the Entity. Oh, no, dude, what a gamer. Big specs. Wow, that's bad. That's bad. That's, let's, let's, let's call it, like, what it is. It's, that's pretty bad. Um, I don't know if I eat the Wood Hammer. Maybe they're just U-turning? Hmm. That might have been a misplay for me. Oh, Grassy Glide, cool. They, they did go for the Glide. Yeah, we're fine. Cool. Yeah, they just didn't get the Terra up. Or the Terrain up. We should be fine here then, because we just Moonblast the Embryon, and then he crashed the Rill, and we win. Would it be a better play here to... Let me actually think about this, because I don't know. How much damage does Heat Crash do to Rillaboom? Enough, right? It does enough. We should be able to Oko the Embryon here. I'm just wondering if they protect Umbreon. Like, I wonder if I need to go... I wonder if I should be Dazzling... It's boosted by sun. I'm a speed booster. It's not boosted by sun. You're talking about heat crash? Heat crash is boosted by sun. I don't think Dazzle will break the Ember on, so I think I need to Moonblast it. And But then that leads to me getting protected. Yeah, the heat crash is boosted by sun. Yeah, I'll just go for the heat crash. Cool. No protects. We take those. This should KO. Yep. Scarf Flutter main degeneracy, bro. And Groudon comes in hot, and the way this works is, like, even if you were to KO something, like, I still have two Mons, so I win. Yeah, I was just working about, like, what if they protected Umbreon, and then, like, a Woodhammer crit my Flutter, right? And then it's Groudon versus Rilla and that. Like, if the Heat Crash didn't KO Rilla, like, I could have been in a bad spot. We take those wins. We take those wins. So going to this one, they have Fire Pond, Toxapex, Koraidon. Okay, I think that Jump Puff's really good here. I also think that, like, Sandy Shocks is, like, kind of cracked here. Um, but I gotta watch out for that flutter. I think I'm gonna bring my flutter in the back. I'm gonna weed shocks, I think. I'm gonna weed shocks. Uh, I'm gonna weed shocks. An Articuno. Dude, I'm doing this. I'm totally doing this. 
Yo, King also gifted five subs. Bro, we got no time for this out here. All right, I'm gonna go grab on. And then we need like one of these. And I'm just gonna go flutter. Thank you, though. Holy moly. I probably should have brought jump up. Five more subs, yo. We're trying to get to Indy, right? We got the sub goal to get to Indy. Uh, it's 73 subs to help pay for airfare, travel, um, that tournament entry and things like that. Uh, 73 gets me there without breaking too much of the bank. Um, thank you guys for helping us get there. I hate Reggie too, but I appreciate you powering through. I'm still going to be here. That's the thing. I'm still going to do Patreon team fixings. I'm still going to make cool teams. I'm just telling you guys I was sad about like my thoughts on reg g so far just sad dude where's the incent this guy didn't even lead in sin smh dude where's the incent smh all right um think about what i want to need to do here i'm not afraid dude i could just blind hypnosis you right now i could just go blind hypnosis just like absolutely blind Blind, blind hypnosis, the degenerate. Someone has to make this game interesting, bro. Somebody has to make this game interesting. Turn one, blind hypnosis. We're gonna protect the shocks for one turn because we don't want to die. <laughs> Snarl, oh my gosh, you just snarled an Articuno. I'm telling you right now that this is a Galarian one of those and that that might not be your best course of action in the future. Just letting you know. I'm, now I'm now I'm mad. Blind hypnosis value. Oh my gosh, we're such a gamer. The one pause that Reg G gives us is creativity for future mons. Now there's good electric train setter. Hey, I guess so. Toxic spikes. Do you think I'm ever gonna switch? I'm just gonna win with this board, <laughs> dude. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna win with this board. Okay. We don't need to gravity, but I could. What do you have in the back? Groudon, I outspeed that. In Sin, get wrecked. I think I just actually use... I can just E-Web here. Because if you ever send out anything that threatens me, I'm fine. E-Web's good. This will KO at plus two, I think. Let's go. Oh, the Terra? Dude, he get, he get big mad now. Big mad. Oh, big mad! Dork! Oh, dude, he's gaming! Okay, hey, all right, all right. Okay, I can still hypnosis that, right? Damn, dude, he just terrorized the pecs, dude. <sighs> okay. I see you, baby. I see you out here. Were you gonna use toxic? I just miss. Did I miss? That's really bad that I missed on that uh, walking wake. I really needed to hit that so I could outspeed it. Haze, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Fine, fine, fine. You're fine. Snarl into Haze, go, go nuts, bro. I think I can still hypnosis that, right? I, I, I can. What a game. We need to bring back the go. Iron Hands? Iron Hands is a good Pokemon, yeah. I saw a tournament yesterday where someone was playing Terrapagos, right? With, um, what is that, Mon? Trapagos with Supercell Slam on it, and I bet that's for Pelipper. Okay. Breaking the mold. Wide guard. Dude, what do you think we're using here? Do you think I'm pivoting in and expanding forcing you? Dude, that'd be kind of sick. Maybe I thought I was just going to use Electro Whip. No, we're just going to put you to sleep. Good night, good fight. Good night. Good riddance. Okay. Gravity's up. I just gotta stick some damage here. You already terra though. So, like, I don't know how much I care about your Terra. I'm just gonna E-Web you. And... I don't want to take the toxic damage, you know what I mean? Go nuts, bro! Open up my Ogre Pond. Is this going to be walking weight? Or not, you just take a speed drop, dude. Speed drops, easy peasies. Yep. Nice. So now they are slow. They have to haze, they have to haze again. Oh, 
I'm fine to just keep electro webbing. Ah, uh, you know what? I actually think that like this would just kill them. Let's go. Yeah, I like Shiny Gower to come. This is the event one. Comfy's really good. Yeah, I agree. Earth power, big damage. Any sped F drops? Oh, that's gaming. Dude, look at me. Professional Pokemon player. That's plus one. That's plus one and done out here. Oh my gosh. Walking Wake. You want to see what cool... This is the map that they gave us for the regional. Isn't that sick? That's a sick mat, dude. It's a good mat. It's probably one of the better mats they've made recently. It's a cool one. Flutter, okay. So no... Comfy busted? Comfy's a good mom. Alright, so they have a lot of damage here. We can trash our Articuno anytime we feel like it. They can Shadow Ball me. I don't really think that matters. I think if you just stick a web on it, like, you win with the stuff in the back. So, yeah, I'll go web protect and just make you play correctly. Yeah, it's totally fine. Absolutely fine. They're trying to wake up with this uh, Toxapex. They have, like, Recover, I'm sure, too. Toxic Spikes, Haze. I wouldn't be surprised if they have Recover. But we're sticking some good damage in on that thing. And he's still asleep. Do we take those? That was a good protect with the flutter, though. All right, so turns on gravity. I just want to see. Last turn, gravity. So we actually are just going to go... Yeah, I'm fine to you up here. And, uh... Yeah. I'm not going to waste my Terra. If you want to if you want to attack the Articuno, it's absolutely fine. It's absolutely, positively, A-OK. -okay, easy peasy, baby. That's what we like to see fine. Because then I just send in Groudon. Oh, they have Wide Guard, too, on that Pex. So they had Wide Guard, um, sorry, Wide Guard, Haze, Toxic Spikes. That's fine. I don't think that matters. Maybe Bunker? So they can actually wake up and E-Web me here. Not E-Web, uh, Wide Guard me here. That would suck. Snarl. The Snarl wasn't on the Pex. It was on the Walking Wake. Oh, I don't know if that's it. Yeah, that is just not it last time I checked. So now you're slow and you're asleep. Dang, dude. Must suck to be slow and asleep, dude. Hardakuno kind of just gaming out here. <laughs> kind of just gaming. You're going to wake up. There's a wake up. Recover. Ice Spinner. Dude, what a gamer. I'm oh, not even dead, dude. Ice Spinner, dude. That actually, that pec set's like kind of fire. They're like pec set's like kind of fire. But like, it's also kind of asleep again. If they go for a wide guard, that's funny. Okay, I was going to say because that would like waste their sleep turns. Gravity, why can't we seem to pull it together? Good night, good fight. So Flutter can technically wake up this next turn, so I wonder if I should just go after it. I think it's still the right play to E-Web here, just to keep things out of range. Because, like, Electro would just make it so the Flutter can never get anything done. Yeah. I, I might have been able to kill it with, like, Earth Power e uh, Expanding Force, but I don't think so. I'd rather just make sure the Flutter is, like, always slow. Let's see if they get a one-turn sleep or not. Nice. There, see, a one-turn sleep. I did the right play. I did the right play. Look at me. That's what we like to see. And now it's within range for, like, an Earth Power, and I can just send out something that checks the pecs. Um, double wake up. Oh, dude, actually, never lucky. That's really bad. I was not expecting to get double never lucky. Okay, I didn't die, though. I'm, I'm golden. They have Fire Pawn in the back. We do have Power Gem. I don't mind going grout on here. It's going to get poisoned, but that's fine. And so we enable their flutter, but they might be pivoting. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they wide guarded here, if I'm being completely, completely, absolutely, brutally honest. Special attack booster flutter. Hmm. 
nuanced. All right, so the what is it? The fire pond does not want to soak in on that. This should be able to kill the pecs. Yeah, double one turn sleep, dude. Never lucky, man. Never lucky. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Appreciate the follow out here. All right, let's see what they want to do. I actually think the right play for them is to pivot out that flutter and then try and like repin. But like, I will always outspeed with shocks. It's the right play though. They're they're taking a lot of damage on this fire pond this turn. I probably should have just doubled into the fire pond if I'm being honest, but it's fine. Now he didn't bring the restricted. There's the wide guard, cool. So that thing's gonna go down. And then like you, we should just be fine to just attack the same flutter slot with like our our shocks. Been watching the YouTube videos for a while. Love the content. Well, thank you, thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Boom. Boom. Do I want to go E speed? Sorry, not E speed. Do I want to go web here? Web might actually KO that flutter, but it would also make them both slower than the Groudon, I think. I want to check my Groudon's base speed. Groudon should have... It might be in the 120s. I think we get to 135 on the Groudon. Oh, they had a speed booster. Okay, so now they, are, they actually did have a speed booster. I didn't think they would have a speed booster there. So that actually changes things up quite a bit. Well, I think we still win, but, like, it's actually a lot dicer than I wanted it to be. I didn't think they'd get speed. Because, like, they didn't get a speed booster last time, but that's because their speed was so low. 120 yards. So we actually don't even outspeed Ogre Pond with that. I think the right play is just to protect my Groudon, then, and just try and go for a, an E-Web. I don't even need the E-Web, though. I don't, I don't need it, like... That's fine. I don't think they're following me because they know we have E-Web, right? So I just want to get the flutter off the board. Yeah, Digum's fine. Digum's absolutely okay here. It'd be an L to just lose both the mons here, but the fact that we can bring out our flutter means I think we'll still be fine. And then I'm going to use my flutter to check their Ogre Pond. And I think I can break their Ogre Pond because I didn't let them heal here. And I probably will terastalize my Flutter here just so I lose my weakness to uh, Ghost. So if they did want to like change it up and go Shadow Ball, I think we'd be, still be okay. Big Poison, never lucky. They might go Spiky Shield this turn to like start waiting us out. Not expecting that. Just want to check my gravity turns. Yep, cool. There's still gravity. Awesome. Cool. We should get this. I'm trying to think of like any way that we don't. The only way that I'm seeing us not get this is like protect Ogre Pond. They crit us with their flutter. Like Spiky Shield Ogre Pond, they crit us with their flutter. And that would just lose to like random attack. Like if I D-weamed you, you know, because like I got us, I have a choice scarf and a booster or and a, a protosynthesis. Let's see though. It's the right play for them to spike a shield. Spike a shield, the Ogre Pond hit my flutter with something. They're thinking about it. They are most definitely thinking. I can wait. I got all week. Here we go. I bet they were like, what? The Groudon's not trash last, and they probably thought I had like a weird Terra on Groudon. But I think we're okay. I, I think the Groudon's gonna be able to soak anything that we really need to. As long as we seal up the Spire Palm, we're good. Yeah, it's game. As long as this kills, which it should. Oh, it doesn't KO! No way! No way! That's a really, 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 really bulky. They're doubling my Groudon. It's a good play from them. They're making the right play. And it's been after drop. That's bad for me. Oh, uh, good play. I cannot believe that didn't KO. That's like a full bulk Fire Pond, by the way. I think Cudgel Flutter. Uh, it's game. They targeted their own slot, dude. You targeted their own slot. No. You had it. You have me, bro. That's fine. Now we take those. Yep. He's like, I can't believe you hit your P blades when it's like this gravity up. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know why he did that. We take those wins though. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. It's what we like to see. It's what we like to see. We get those wins all the way to the all right, bank. So like, honestly, like on paper, I don't think we win this one, but I'll try, I'll try my best to see what we can get done. I don't think we need to go Entity because that would just be giving them material. So Jump Puff's usable. Like Jump Puff Groudon is still really usable, I think. I'm going to try them. Jump Puff Groudon, we're going to bring Flutter. And then it's like a really a matter of like Articuno or Shocks. And like, I don't think Sandy Shocks is actually going to have any value in this matchup. Versus Articuno also has no value. And he doesn't really give us anything either. I guess like Articuno could have value. So Articuno, um, Sandy Shocks is capable of value. So like we'll bring it, right? It can get a speed booster if I get my weather up correctly. They can let us outspeed Cowie to go for like an E-Web or a, a, like a mid-game gravity or something. Like there is something Shocks can do, but I, I don't see Articuno having like any actual value in this matchup. So here we go. I don't think this is a win, though. This is a big L, I think. Big, big L. Not if they weed like that, though. That's not the right weed. That is just the not right weed. You, you can't just do that, bro. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not the right weed. Uh-oh. Yeah, you gotta go Torn Cali in this matchup. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna SD. I have to hit a move. Um, I have to... I have to be that gamer guy. But, like... Trying our best. Yo, thank you for the gift sub. Yo, appreciate it. Here we go. I'm trying to think. Is Chorn just Rain Dance? Probably on their team, yeah. Here we go. Hopefully I hit my Sleep Powder because I have a good chance to win this game. You may be thinking, that's a why are you swords dancing? There's nothing that we would actually get. So in a situation like this, we'd have to go P-Blade twice, right? Because they're Sash and they're kind of bulky. You might as well just swords dance once and then P-Blades. It makes so you only have to hit one P-Blades, right? You know one turn of P-Blades, and it just speeds up the game, and then you, after those monsters are gone, you still have your Swords Dance, so it's value. They can do whatever they want here. Like, I wonder if they're U-turning to break my Sash. And then they go into their Torn. That'd be a good play. It'd be a good play. But what if I Tailwinded? That's the thing, like, what if I Tailwinded? It's Taunt. Okay, that's fine. It's a good play. It's a good play. But I, st I do still get my Swords Dance off, which is really, really nice. So the problem with that play that they just did is I could have just slept powder the uh, mind shell and then won the game, right? That's the thing. It's like so like I don't think that the the way they played that turn worked, but I I think there was more optimal way to do it by by just not leading like that. Because like also, what if I was like mentor? You know what I mean? What if I went like dark Terra? You know, to block your astral and uh, expanding force. Like there there was a lot of options. <sighs> Let's see though. They're gonna wide guard this turn. And I can just, I can just soak the damage. Thinking though, just thinking. Shocks. Peace, bro. <laughs> Peace, bro. Don't need this negativity in my life. So we outspeed that Kali now. Nice. Love to see a Terra. Are you going to go Flying Terra? Are you a gamer? If you go Flying Terra, do Owl Gravity. <laughs> okay, Fairy Terra. That's actually kind of cool. I wonder if they're a Draining Kiss. Fairy Terra, very unique choice on Kali, in my opinion. Don't fate me, bro. Why there it is. Yeah, I was going to be like, dude, what a gamer. So I'm going to let you know, I could just, I could have just went in with this heat crash. I could have just went in. Did not need to. Not required. Do not pass go. Cool. Didn't get KO'd there either. I like that a lot for me. So it's Orb Cali. That means there's Sash on the, shem, on the, on the Mind Shell. Sash Mind Shell here. I vibe with this. We're gaming. We're gamers. We've always been gamers. I'm breaking your sash, bro. I respect your Cali, but I'm still breaking your sash. 
I respect your Cali, but I'm breaking your sash here. Yep. CC. Oh my goodness. Okay. Big stat drops. Close combat taunt. Yeah, he crash fails. How was Orlando? Orlando was good. Yeah, I, I like this one here. All right, so what are their pivots for Flutter? Did I win? Uh, I went six and three. I did, I did great. All right, so you don't have that many pivots. I'm actually gonna P blades here because like I don't need to break your Shen Pao, your your Mind Shell. Sorry, I think you're pivoting it anyways. And I think you just Moon Blast. Like Moon Blast here is just really good. Ah, uh, does that KO though? Mm -hmm. nah, I can just go Heat Crash. That was a misplay for me. I forgot they tear it. I was gonna pin with Shadow Ball. So I messed up. I think I just threw the game. I should have went back with my. I, I, I should have just went back with Jump Off. So the only way we win is if they're like actual garbage. Let's just make them be garbage. Yeah. I mean, they're not. I, I misplayed. I should have just saved this mon. Big misplay energy from me, but it's fine. I should have just went back and jump up. I had the game. Like their taunt was on cool. Their protect was on cooldown. Yeah. So we're gonna trade, but I didn't need to take this trade. I could have just won. You know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, so that thing's gonna go down. We do still have a plus two Groudon that's going to get its Citrus active this turn. And Jump Bluff. Like, we still have big shots, but, like, I don't feel as comfortable as I should, probably should have been. I think I threw my board position a little bit. I don't know. I, I think I've been using Specs Flutter too much. I just kind of expected, like, Specs Flutter to pin them, but it didn't. <laughs> so Citrus active. Like, Groudon's pretty healthy. And, yeah, let's just see what they have in the back. Like, if they have Torn Ursh... The good thing about like Tornersh here for me is they can't set Tailwind, Rain Dance, and still outspeed jump up once they have Scarfersh. So there's the Torn, right? And it should probably be Ursh, right? Yep, that looks like Urshi, right? So let's see. <sighs> we know the Sash was on Mind Shell, so like I'm gonna go there. I mean, I could always just Rage Powder them away. I could Rage Powder away anything that Urshi does, even if they wanted to Rain Dance. But then I would have to hit a P-Blades. I don't know if P-Blades will actually KO Urshi here. Do we know? Do we think it does? This is a hard board state for me. <sighs> Let's just play this way. No, you don't need Weave Storm. Let's see what they do, though. There's a Tailwind trade. Awesome. I'm absolutely okay with the state of this turn. Ice Punch Reed! It's not that much of a read. I'm a ghost type, but, like, we take these. I think as long as I hit, I think I'm good. Everyone's having a good day. Thank you. I'm doing my best. Oh, my gosh. That's what we'd like to see out here. Yes! Yes, we're gamers for just one day. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the sub. All right, yo, we gaming. Nice tailwind, bro. Nice tailwind. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, not like this, chat. Not like this. Not like this, no! All right, we got it. <laughs> your sash is on your mind, on your mind, Shao. We take those. They, they, they didn't lead right. They should have led Torn and Shadow Rider. And I threw a little bit, and we still won. So we take those. Yeah, Torn Shatter, I think, would have unlocked a lot more, like, power. Because you could have done that same, like, passive protect play. And then you bring in your Shen Pao after, like, Groudon's, like, already shown to, like, lock into AoE. Not lock into, but, like, go into AoE mode. And then you just wide guard out. Same thing works against, like, Flutter. You bring in the, the Mind Shell, like, after you lose a piece. After, you like, your Torn goes down for setting your weather or speed control. In my opinion. And, like, Mind Shell with, like, that coming in and having that mid-game fake out is just so big. Um... Yeah, I also think, like, weeding Torn makes it so I can't just go into, like, an AoE mode with, like, P-Blades either. Because, like, I can't hit the Torn. So it makes it so I really have to pick my 
choices a little bit So you see, like, more. if they read Torn here, Torn Shadow Rider, like, Groudon's, like, really pinned. Like, really, really pinned. Because they can just go... They can just rain dance over my jump pluff and just roll me, right? Um, I'll show I'll show you. Like, if they go Torn, you know, I'll, I'll do what I need to do to win this one. And again, let me think about what Mom would be the best in the late game situation. Shandy Shocks won't help here. Articuno doesn't necessarily help here. Indidi doesn't necessarily help because they have a lot of AoE. I guess it's still Sandy Shocks that could do something. Yeah, this should be a loss. This should be a loss. We'll play it. Hmm. Yeah, let's see how this one goes. This one should be a loss. But uh, if they want to, if they want to misplay, bro, if they if they misplay, like we got shots. If they misplay, we do be having shots. Soul read. What is that? Mm, that's a weird lead. So are they pivoting in Indity and expanding, or are they just double dipping? That's not a thing. It's not anime. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like... Honestly, like... Does this Groudon outspeed Kali? I'm just curious. I don't remember. 120. I think you gotta get to 122 to outspeed Kali. I don't think we outspeed Kali. I think I'm gonna just click... I'm just gonna... I'm gonna play bad. Like, am I wrong? Like, that's the play, right? Yeah, 112. Oh, you're right, you're right. I guess we could just Tailwind then. I'll Tailwind. Fuck okay. it. Just gotta hit my moves, right? Easier said than done. Yo, gamers. Chew dead. You're right, yeah, 120, what am I thinking? 120 is fine. You see that there's the torn. There it is. He did it. He did the torn. See how see how hard this is for torn. Like torn makes it so hard. Let me hit this though. Let's go. Pop it like it's hot. Yeah, six three just misses day two. Yep, but I got my points. Like the whole point I was trying to do uh, gets points. All right, here's ogre pawn. So we've seen all their all their mons now, and it's water pawn. They're keeping their Kali safe in the back. How many entries were there? There was like 900 people. I'm trying to think. No, I didn't. I did not. Tailwind trade's good. Jump up's still way faster. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, back in the day, man. So let's see what they're going to do here. Woodhammer. Woodhammer gaming. Holy moly, that's fine. All right, so I don't know how much I need to keep Groudon alive. There's nothing we can do with jump up this turn. So jump up is pivoting. I think I'm gonna actually do that. And I think you just die to your wood hammer recoil, and that's okay. You can spike a shield if you wanna be a gamer. Sandy Shocks in the house. How big do you think LA Regionals will be? Yeah, it's gonna be, LA Regionals is gonna have a cap though. So it's like, I don't know how big it's gonna be. They tried to do something there. I don't know if it was protect. Woodhammer. All right, yeah. Don't kill me, bro. Nine HP because we're built different, bro. Thank you for the recoil. Appreciate you. Long time, friend. Let's go, Citrus. Big damage. Oh, the crit, too. 
<laughs> Yo, did he crash to last? Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, indeedy. I mean, there's no indeedy in this game. All right, so let's think about what the actual play is here. They're probably going to play relatively passive. This is the last turn of Tailwind. So I could pivot and jump. I think the right play is pivot and jump bluff. And then do I have, how many more sun turns do I have? Two turns, all right, that's fine. Yep, and we're good. So we just have, pivot and jump bluff, E-Web here, and I think that we're gonna be good. So even if you protect here, I still will have that turn of sun and then I can pin you with a, uh, sorry, I can pin you with a sleep powder or retail wind, you know? Are they gonna go ground Terracali? What a gamer. Ghost with the most out here. Big ghost goober energy. Electroweb. Oh, we gotta hit this though. Tornius miss. That still sucks. I really need to hit both of those. Yeah, Astral's fine. Torn's probably gonna wake up and kill us though. That would, that would suck. That would suck because we missed our Electroweb on it. All right, we, we're hanging on. Please don't wake up one turn sleep, Tormi, bro. Please don't. Please just don't. Please, please just don't. One turn sleep. God damn it! All right, you miss on either of these misses is fine, but like, oh, that's really bad. So we missed our E-Web and got a one turn sleep. And now our Tailwind's done. All right, so they have... First time catch a stream, happy to have you here. Yeah, it's points for the world championships to qualify. Okay, so I'm looking at this, right? We outspeed them with Flutter. I'm trying to think of the actual best player. I think it's just this, like I think we just do this. I think we outspeed, right? Plus two versus like, they have plus two, but they're at minus one. We outspeed, right? Yo, Sega gifted five subs, bro, we gave him. Holy moly! Yeah, dude, oh, the Scar Flutter Degeneracy! Let's go! Oh, dude, they did not see that coming. <laughs> oh, dude, I love Scar Flutter, man. It's so good. Thank you, five subs, Sega! We're already 35% of the way to the sub goal. And now that the, the weather expires, we just bring back in Groudon, re-enable our Flutter. Speed drop sucks, right? We're getting never lucky out here. Really bad. Quite terribly, actually. But I think we're still gonna be fine. Thank you for the thank you for the subs. Please, please just uh please don't kill me. <laughs> so we're gonna protect Groudon here to make those bleak ones have uh, as much AoE as possible to make our flutter have to be a three shot, and I think we just double tap him with Shadow Ball. Can't believe he dodged the E webs too, but thank you. Thank you for the five subs. Oh, I got a special attack boost now. Yo! <laughs> Dude, that's sick, dude. Special attack boost. That's like accidental gaming. Because I'm still faster than you. <laughs> that's like actually really funny. <laughs> Thanks for the speed drop, I guess. This guy's like, wait, what? <laughs> I speed dropped it. And now it's a two shot. Don't you get another speed drop, though. Don't you get another speed drop on me. Don't crit me either. So by protecting Groudon, we make it so it's an AOE attack as long as possible. Oh, and then that's it. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. How are we winning these unwinnable matchups out here? That's funny. Battle was canceled. Wins up. Wins up. I'm going to try this lead. All right, this is... We're just trying it. We're just, we're just out here trying stuff. I'm done playing the matchup normally because, like, I'm done trying to show you guys that they should just beat me if they go Torn Shadow Rider. I'm going to try and steal this one. We're going we're gonna to roll the dice. Scarf Flutter? Oh, yeah, dude, it's good, right? Yeah, dude, we've gotten so many people terrible today, man. Okay, hey, they didn't lead the thing. Hmm. I could have just let jump off, bro. Mm -hmm. 
If I have Fairy Terror Moonblast there, I'd kill it. I don't know if it's sashed or scarfed or what. You're not scarfed, I'll cloak. It might be cloaked. Like, I could just probably kill it this turn. If I tear it. I'm gonna have to hit either way. I'm gonna go for it. Your Chi Yu is slow, bro. Slow Chi Yu. Nice tailwind, bro. That's I need to hit it anyways, right? Heat Whip can miss on things. We're leaning into it. We're leaning! Don't kill me. Crap. It's fine. Groudon holds, though. Groudon busted! Dude, don't miss, though, Groudon. Well, that's cool. How it goes? It's going good. Dunzo. So we trade Flutter for Chiyu. And they get Tailwind up, but they have their Torn chunked. It's a good It's good for me so far. If they have Taunt, we sad. We cry every time. Um... I might scout for it. Um, this is this is my first day not feeling really, really sick. Yeah, so I'm feeling a little bit better. Right, so we got jump puff here. I don't really care for the tailwind trade. Let me think about how I want to play this matchup. Does that KO? I'm gonna try this. Again, we're just we're just trying to see what sticks right here. I'm just trying to figure out a little bit more of the matchups. Oh, I'm a gamer though. Imagine if I SD'd this turn. You can taunt me. Taunt's not bad at all. Oh, tailwind's up. Oh yes, they're just bleak winding. Cool, we trade tailwinds. That's good. Icy wind, okay. That can miss too though. Don't miss, bro. All right, so correct me if I'm wrong. I just want to understand speed tiers. Jump up just got icy winded, which cut its speed, but then we have chlorophyll and a tailwind. We're st are we still faster than Shadow Rider? It's a really good question. This is not a this is a mechanic that doesn't come up like as often as you might think. I don't know if we're still faster than Shadow Rider. I know we have two multipliers. I don't know for sure. It's hard to say with jump. Yeah, it's like, so we have chlorophyll and tailwind and I don't remember. I don't think we are. Yeah, I could, I could run a calc, but like, I don't, I mean, I have, I have run the damn calc. Yeah. Where's this uh, Pokemon shit on? Cool, they just missed a uh, bleak one, right? So minus one. Chlorophyll in the sun in a tailwind. Where's the tailwind button? Missed icy one, thank you. I'm still pretty fast, but I'm not as fast as Shadow Rider is. All right. Two turns on Tailwind. This jump off is hot garbage here. We just let it die. No, I think we let... Sandy Shocks die, and then we come back in. I think we just double tap them with a... Uh... Oh, fuck, this is gonna be so hard. The right play here is to double protect, I think. Yeah, it was still the right play. Because they're falling. I'm so happy. If they didn't follow me and they actually just attacked my Groudon, if they doubled into my Groudon, they would have won. They might just high roll my Groudon here, but I don't think they do. Groudon should live. Yep. Groudon holds. Just gotta hit some moves. Just gotta hit some moves. Here we go. Move hitting. Let's go. That's not enough move hitting.
Palmot's cool, yeah. So Palmot's faster than them now. All right, Palmot. We should just get this here because we still have a Tailwind up. Last turn of my Tailwind. So like, I think our only out is going to sound really weird. If they just have Protect on Kali, I think we do lose. We have to hit People Blades too. I haven't missed a single People Blades today. I think you just grab you then. Make sure I hit People Blades. This is a better play. Right? As long as you don't lower the P Blades, I think we got it. Because we don't need the damage from the E Web just yet. They're not going to soak the E Web. They're gonna, if they have Protect, they're using it. This is the right play. Helping Hand. Okay. Okay. Go nuts, bro. Shocking. Yeah, I never got that Icy one, remember? We take these. All the way to the bank. He's peasy. Dude, we just keep beating these Kalyx teams. I'm like, they they have the tools to win. They've had all the tools to win and they just don't, bro. They have all the tools to win and they just don't. And Ting Lu. And I actually really like Noivern in this format. This is probably one of Noivern's. Noivern's one of those mods that gets better in restricted formats because Frisk is just so much value on ladder. Let's see, though. Do we, do we like? Let's see. I can let you get screens. I think just like Groudon Jump Up is just really good here. Right on Jump Puff seems strong. I'm going to respect Amoongus and go Articuno. Dude, do I want to bring this Flutter so bad, but I'm not. These two are so bad into Ting Lu. I can't do it. I can't do it, dude. I can't. I want to. I can't. Awesome team. Thank you. Ah, let's see, though. Jump Puff's good into Ting Lu. I, I, I might just have to be really reliant on Groudon to break Ting Lu. And I think that might just be what we have to have happen. Yeah, let's do this. I'm doing it. You can't stop me, bro. I'm gaming. I'm gaming out here. It's Articuno time. It's Articuno time. Let's go. I think I'm gonna have to like double like SD and just pop the tingle in one hit with Groudon. That's probably my best shot. Whew. This is gonna be hard though. Skeleturge Grim. So you can go screens. Am I gonna get Yawn cycled? Now, they have unaware on that dirge, but like, I don't know how much I care about it. We're gonna SD once, because we do need this, and we're just gonna try and sleep out of the dirge. If you wanna be goggles unaware and you're a gamer, I can't stop you. They locked in first slot, which means like, if they did have that, they could also go Grass Terra. Like, I'm super okay with that. You can go Reflect, you can go Fake Out. Like, they got Groudon, good play. They got for Sleep Powder, that's value for me. Cool. Remember, Skeldridge does have Unaware, but I wonder how much it really matters. I really like Groudon 2 against Grim, because like you block like the Thunder Wave. You can Thunder Wave my Jump Off right now, and it'd be relatively annoying, but like... You fake... Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. That's not it, dude. If I hit the Sleep Powder, your Grim is so done. Oh my goodness. Now you, you even wasted your turn, dude. What if he's like, dude, I'll just fake out again. <laughs> hey, dude, beggars can't be choosers out here. One, two, three, eyes on me, Groudon. That's what we like to see. Yes, please. Skeletor's taking a big cat nap over there. Just gotta hit these pee blades. Cool. Might as well just tail one for the heck of it. Catch that Maridon. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> maybe you misclicked it, maybe. It's possible. Pivot the dirge? Bro. Who wants this smoke, bro? Ting Wu? Uh-uh. Mm, it's not. That's not how this won't. This is probably a two-shot, right? Because you don't have a reflect up yet. Grim has to be asleep this turn. Let's go. Ground on. Didn't even need to dip this tailwind up. Just felt like it. We're just going to rage powder. I have not missed a move today. Have you guys noticed that? Oof. Nice Grim, bro. So yeah, we're just going to redirect because the only way I feel like this is a fat L is if like that's Fisher, right? <laughs> if that's Fisher, this is a fat L. Amoongus, no restricted, bro. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, we actually just like... Today, Lucky. Yo, first time. First time. First time, Lucky. You can go Water Terra. You can get Spore on Groudon. Like... It's all good in the neighborhood. They're not. 
Are they effects for? Show me that Fisher though. Show me the Fisher. Effects it is effects for what a gamer! Hey dude, I appreciate your gaming over here. I appreciate it. It's the right play. Show me Fisher though. Rock slide. Okay, okay. Fine. Fine. You you can have your paltry rock slide. So Groudon's big sad. We just chill here. I'm gonna protect. I actually think that like utilizing your jump off correctly is the way to win this matchup. We're one P boys away from getting it. Dude, effects bore into the sleep, dude. It didn't get poison, it didn't get parry, it got sleep. So we have to be asleep this turn. This is your Fisher turn. I'm letting you have this one, bro. One turn sleep, wake up Skeldridge, never lucky. Good thing we protected on the jump buff, because we're gamers. Ruination, dude. He's trying his best to game out here. I'm going to pivot in my NDD. He a fine pivot. I don't want to miss a sleep hunter just to get Torch Song to lose the game for it, right? So you can hit the entity, and then I'll re bring back in what I want. Never lucky Groudon. Torch song, not bad, not bad. Now, they still got shots out here, man. Snarl, never lucky. What if I pivoted in Articuno? That would've been sick. It's gonna activate my Entity's Eject button. I wonder how much damage we do to the Dirge with an Expanding Force with Tinglu up. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm gonna do it. I'm totally doing it. I'm, I'm clicking the button, dude. The button hath been clicked. Let's go, gaming. Let me wake up. Man, all this work and like earth power is still probably more damage. I'm still clicking the button, dude. So we're gonna become grounded in this play. Literally, like literally grounded, ground type. And we're gonna be touching the exp The rage quit? Oh, the rage quit, dude, this guy like the Articuno, dude. The Articuno. Oh, the connection error occurred. Oh my gosh, dude. This guy, big, big DC. Like, whoa, dude. The game just like super ended. You ever seen that happen? They got like broke his switch in half.